His Excellency, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Honorable Prime Minister, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to today's exchange of agreement ceremony where eight documents will be exchanged. First, we have the MOU between the East Africa Statistical Training Center in Tanzania and the National Statistical System Training Academy in India on establishing a collaborative program in official statistics. This will be exchanged between Professor I. Nalinda, Rector, EASTC, on the Tanzanian side, and by Sri T. V. Raman, Acting DG Training, come Director, NSSTG, on the Indian side. Next, we have the MOU between EASTC and ICAR on establishing a collaborative program in agricultural science statistics. This will again be exchanged between Professor I. Nalinda, Rector, EASTC, and Dr. S. Ayappan, Secretary, DARE, Ministry of Agriculture. Next, we have the MOU on cooperation in the field of tourism. This will be exchanged between Dr. Adelhelm Meru, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Natural Resources and Tourism of Tanzania, and Sri Girish Shankar, Additional Secretary, Ministry of Tourism of India. We now have the MOU for cooperation in the field of hydrography between Tanzania and India. This will be exchanged between Dr. Mahathi Juma Maalim, Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of Tanzania, and Sri G. Mohan Kumar, Secretary, Ministry of Defense of India. Next, we have the protocol on exchange of hydrographic data. This will also be exchanged between Dr. Mahadi Juma Malim, Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of Tanzania, and Vice Admiral S.K. Jha, Chief Hydrographer from India. agreement between Exim Bank and Government of Tanzania on line of credit for US dollar 268.35 million for extension of Lake Victoria pipeline project will be exchanged between Ms. Dorothy Mianyika, Deputy Permanent Secretary of the Treasury on the Tanzanian side and Sri Yadavendra Mathur, Chairman Exim Bank of India. The agreement between WAPCOS and Government of Tanzania for preparation of detailed project report for Lake Victoria Pipeline project will be exchanged between Mr. Ngo Futakamba, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Water of Tanzania, and Sri R.K. Gupta, CMD of WAPCOS. Finally, we have presentation of navigational charts for the port of Zanzibar and Dar es Salaam Harbor, for which the survey was conducted by the Indian Navy. This will be received by Major General Issa Nasur, Defense Advisor of the Tanzanian High Commission, and it will be presented by Vice Admiral S.K. Jha, Chief Hydrographer from India.
This concludes the exchange of agreements and documents. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll now have the joint press briefing where we'll have statements by the Honorable Prime Minister of India and His Excellency, the President of Tanzania. May I now invite the Honorable Prime Minister of India to deliver his statement. Excellency President Jakaya Merisho Kikewete, members of the media, I am delighted to welcome President Kikwete and his delegation to India. My government has the pleasure of hosting him as the first head of the state from Africa on a state visit to India. President Kikwete, vision and leadership over the past decade have advanced political stability and economic growth in Tanzania. He has worked for a future of peace and cooperation in Africa. And we deeply value his strong commitment to relations with India. India and Tanzania are connected by Indian Ocean. Its current have carried over centuries old human links. It prospers through nearly 50,000 people of Indian origin in Tanzania. We have an emotional bond of shared history of struggle against colonialism. We have spoken in one voice for a life of equality and dignity for all people. We have been partners in the cause of deeper cooperation among developing countries and a greater voice for them in international forums. We have shared aspirations for inclusive economic development. We have a common interest in maritime security in the Indian Ocean and a peaceful and prosperous Africa. Terrorism in our respective region is a concern for both countries. We have agreed to establish a joint working group to strengthen our cooperation in counter-terrorism. We not only have broad range of shared interests, but also a close relationship. We are pleased to be Tanzania's largest training partner and a long-standing development partner. President Kikwete and I had comprehensive and productive talks today. I assure him of India's continuing commitment to relation with Tanzania. Our trade of over 4 billion US dollar is heavily in India's favor. I urge President Kikwete to pan up more sectors for investments and exports. Indian investment in Tanzania exceed 3 billion US dollars and cover many areas. Indian investors are ready to invest more in Tanzania that would support Tanzania's development and trade. I offer our cooperation in the development of the potentially rich natural gas sector in Tanzania. We discuss cooperation in the maritime sector and ocean economy. The agreement on hydrography is an important step forward in our cooperation in this sector. We are pleased to be a partner in the development of human resources, healthcare, agriculture, institutions, and infrastructure in Tanzania. I assure President Kikwete that our development partnership will continue as our agreements today indicates. Tanzanian nationals in growing numbers travel to India. We have near, nearly 2,000 Tanzanian students in India. I have informed President Kikwete that we will soon extend our e-tourist visa scheme to Tanzania. We also discuss regional and global issues of mutual interest. We are ready to expand cooperation 
in counter terrorism and maritime security we greatly appreciate tanzania's support for india's candidature for a permanent seat <coughs> in an expanded un security council i brief president kikwete about the third india africa forum summit to be held in october in new delhi for the first time we have invited leaders of the 54 african countries tanzania is an important part of india african partnership president kikwete co-chaired the first india africa forum summit in 2008 we look forward to his partnership too let me conclude by saying that our relations with tanzania and africa will continue to grow it is a great pleasure to host the leader of an indian ocean neighbor in delhi thank you very much thanks a lot may i now invite his excellency president kikwete to in, uh, to deliver his statement i thank you so much prime minister modi for your kind words about me and about our country and about more so about our relationship well i thank you for the invitation to to visit india we also thank you for the very warm reception gracious hospitality we are enjoying every minute of our stay you have arranged an excellent program for us this very short visit has been productive in the sense that we are we are fulfilling all our expectations of the visit to india well i'm sending with me very warm greetings from the people of tanzania to you mr prime minister to the people of india we have to congratulate you on your momentous victory last year it is a demonstration of the trust and confidence that the people of india have reposed in you as you rightly said india and tanzania have has a long history of cooperation at the government to government level it dates back to 1961 when we attained our independence but at people to people level it dates dates well, over a century ago when many people from india the bulk from gujarat came and settled in tanzania they are tanzanian citizens some don't even know where to go in india <laughs> we are the good citizens working with us living with us together so we are, we are happy with them there the prime minister at the government to government level india and tanzania see eye to eye on many issues of mutual interest regional global and international issues of mutual interest we support each other and as you rightly said i reaffirm our support to india's candidature in an expanded security council you deserve it it's not a favor but india deserves it Tanzania will continue to work with African friends for that support. Mr. Prime Minister, besides strengthening bilateral relations, I'm visiting India to thank you the government and people of India for the generous support you've extended over the many years in our development endeavors. We are making progress thanks in many ways to the support we've been getting from india and in the talks today and what you've just said the readiness to continue to support us is received very warmly by me my delegation and the people back home as so prime minister we had very enriching discussions as as you rightly said i want to confirm that we discussed many issues of mutual interest at the bilateral level and at the global level we will continue to work together 
on all these issues. We agreed, both of us mutually, that these excellent diplomatic relations, political relations, and the support that we've been getting from India for our development endeavors should also be translated. Or we agreed we should take our relations to the next level. And that level is increased trade and investment between Tanzania and India. Tanzania, there is a lot of investment from India, three billion. There's trade that is increasing close to four billion. But the size of the Indian economy, what is three billion? India can invest more in Tanzania. The point of opportunities are plenty. A four billion trade between us is nothing. India can sell more to Tanzania, and Tanzania can sell more to India. Yesterday, I had a breakfast a round table with the CEOs of prominent Indian enterprises. The message was the same, and the commitment was being the same. Increased investments, increased trade. Yesterday also, we launched the first India-Tanzania Business Forum. My remarks there has been, it is long overdue, but better late than, better late than never. We had a sizable group of Tanzanian and Indian businessmen present, and the message that came out of that meeting has been the same, more trade, more investments. So we were ready, I assured the Indian businessmen that we were doing everything possible to improve the investments climate in the country so that we'll make it life easy for them to come and invest and give them the necessary security. I say we always talk about the, the security aspect to the investments because at some point we, 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 had, we, we, we were a socialist state and we, we nationalized a lot of assets. It has been scaring people. And a number of people who are there from India who are the wealthiest are the ones who are affected. We give them, them a, the, the, the assurance that we, 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 have, we, have, we, have, we have changed, we have reformed the economic systems, we are pursuing market-based economics, and therefore they should not worry about their investments. Moreover, we are members of the Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency of the World Bank. We are also members of the International Center for Settlement of in, in Investment Disputes. This should give them enough assurance. They can repatriate their dividends, they can repatriate their profits. <coughs> so we gave them that assurance. I'm repeating it here to, for that, so that many can know that we are ready to do business with India. The environment, the climate is conducive, and the people are receptive and permissive. I thank you so much for the, for the MOUs and the agreements that have been signed and exchanged between, 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 between our two sides here. Certainly, we need cooperation in the field of tourism. Certainly, we need the support to augment the water supply in our country. If there is one problem that the people of Tanzania suffer the most now, the outstanding will be the water. And India has given us a lot of support. WAPCOS has been instrumental in this. Exim Bank has been, has been wonderful in this support and today. So, Prime Minister, thank you. And the readiness to continue to support us in this area is deeply appreciated by me. The support the East African Statistical Training Center, I was telling the Prime Minister, it was started during the East African community, the collapse of the community, they remained in the hands of Tanzania. The center trains not only Tanzanian statisticians, it is the only center we have in Africa. So support this center is actually extending support to the whole of the African continent for which to us the support for the hydro hydrography survey for the port of Zanzibar, but also the, the understanding we had for more continued support in this area is highly appreciated.
We have threats from terrorism. We have threats from, from drug traffickers. And the discussions we have had and the readiness for India to support us in this historic fight is deeply appreciated by me and the people of Tanzania. We'll continue to work together in this regard. All, all in all, let me say, Prime Minister, if I continue to sing praises and songs, it will never end. But the important thing I'm saying is I thank you, India. I thank the people of India. I thank your government for the support. In October, we'll have elections. After the elections, we'll have a new leader. As I'm moving on, I've completed my, my term. So I also came to bid you farewell. But to bid farewell to you, saying that thank you, thank you so much for the support you've extended to Tanzania over the many years. We look forward to continued support from India to the new administration. Thank you, Prime Minister. I thank the two leaders for their statements. This concludes the joint press briefing. Thank you.